One of the most important things for every streamer is perfect audio. But did you know that OBS has plugins that help with that? Or maybe you want to get the most out of your audio displaying the title, the artist and even the cover art of whatever music you have playing on stream? Come on, let me show you. My name is Barry Epps and this is Content Delta. So one of my most popular videos right now is one where I take everything that OBS can do and level it up so it becomes a full-fledged content creation studio. But that is not all OBS can do. One of the things OBS plugins really interact well with is audio. And it's a shame that not more streamers utilize this to increase the interactivity in their stream. In finding a unique approach to your stream using actual audio and not just sound alerts, which by the way, I'm not covering in this one. I've got another video for that. You can actually display more information or just have a laugh with your viewers. My favorite one is the second one on the list, but the last one can really surprise you if it's right for your stream. If you do have any questions at the end of this video, come drop into the Twitch stream. I stream every Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday on twitch.tv forward slash mathmaneu and I try to answer your questions live on stream. Now, let's see if I can surprise you with these plugins and if I did, why not leave a comment down below? As audio is the most important thing in your stream, let's start by making it better. The first plugin for OBS that we will be talking about today is one that I've discussed before and it is one that you will probably know if you've watched my Sound Like a Pro video. It is the one, the only Reaper FM. The Reaper FM plugins are completely free and give you complete control over your audio in your stream. Not only does it allow you to get higher quality plugins with finer control for your OBS such as the compressor and the noise gate, but more importantly it allows you to add plugins that are missing from vanilla OBS. The most important one of these of course is the equalizer. Setting this plugin up is a little bit different from normal because this is not specifically designed for OBS. So what you're going to do is go downstairs, follow the link, download the plugin and get ready to install. To install it you simply follow the installer however it is very important that you do not change which folder you are installing into because OBS automatically reads this folder for any VST plugins that might exist. This also means if you have any other VST plugins, you can use them in the same way. Okay, once it's installed, just reboot your OBS and then you can go into your audio devices, open the filters and choose a VST plugin. In the drop down list, you can now see all the plugins and you can start playing with them. The most important one on this one is the equalizer. You can add a little bass, remove some of the S's and make your voice that little more crisp. I go into much more detail with this in the video right here, but finish watching this video, then go to that video. The second plugin that I want to look at is one I discovered only recently, and it does exactly what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it, and it is Tuna. Yep, like the fish. What Tuna does is very simple. It takes the information embedded in the metadata of any song you're listening to on stream and displays it on your stream, updating automatically as the song changes. This could be the title, the artist, the album, the album cover. Even that can be automatically updated straight onto your stream. It integrates with all major music platforms such as Spotify and iTunes, can communicate with VLC, OBS, or Windows Media Player, and through a little bodging, any other program you might use to listen to music. Yes, that could even be SoundCloud. What I really like about this plugin is that you can display whatever you want where you want it. So if you want to show the album covers on your Be Right Back screen, but not when you're on your live screen, then that is no problem. You just make two groups, it works perfectly. To install, it's very simple. You go to the website, you download Tuna, you open the installer, you follow the instructions and boom, you're done. Once you've done that, go into your tools drop down menu and find the Tuna settings. So here you can see how you can set up all your platforms, Spotify, MPD, VLC, Last.fm, etc, etc. However, the most important part comes right here. This is where you actually set up your screen display. Contrary to many other plugins, Tuna does not give you a design on screen or something like that. It writes directly to a text file. 
meaning that when you add a text GDI, which we can just pick whatever font for, whatever size for, whatever you want, say read from file, picking the right one, let's say song title, it will automatically display the song title here, and then you can go into your preview and just drag it along exactly as you want. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little life hack because, of course, song titles can actually change in size, but you don't want them to go outside the border of what you've defined. So what you can then do is go into Transform, Edit Transform, Bounding Box Type, and in the Bounding Box Type, go to Scale to Inner Bounds. That makes it so that no matter how long the text is, it will never go out of the box. No more overrun. Before we move on to the third one, I want to take a moment to tell you guys that the last few weeks have been absolutely incredible. With all your support and subbing to the channel, we have been able to get our custom channel extension, which I'm very proud of, and the community Discord keeps on growing. We now have over 50 members all helping each other, trying to get their stream to look the best, sound the best, and be entertaining, while also learning learning the business side of things through social media marketing and more. If you want to be part of the movement that spreads knowledge and shows that content creation isn't just luck, then make sure to go downstairs, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that will keep you up to date on everything that we do. And uh, while you're down there, click the Discord link. The third plugin is something that the older people in this audience will recognize. Remember this? The bars that show the volume in different frequency bands? Back in the early 2000s, every single music player, even Windows Media Player, was able to display these. And that is because you found them on the high-end stereo sets back in the 90s and 80s. Well, what this is actually called is an audio visualizer or audio spectralizer. And you can get them in your OBS using the Waveform plugin. To install this one is exactly the same as the last one. Go downstairs, follow the link, download the installer for your operating system, follow the instructions. And once you've done that, go into your OBS, add a source, and you will see a new source appear. The Waveform Visualizer. To install this, simply go to the download, scroll down, get the installer that works for your operating system, and follow the instructions. If you've installed it correctly, you can go into your OBS and add a waveform visualizer. Adding the waveform visualizer to your OBS allows you to connect it to any of your audio sources. So your microphone, your music, your game sound, really the choice is yours. As for customizing the look of it, well, there are literally a dozen of options which allow for fine tuned adjustments. So let's have a look at them. The key ones are display mode, where you can choose between curve, bars, or the traditional step bars, among others. And of course, then the color down here. Let's change it to yellow to give it a nice little bright look. The last important one that you can do is go to a radial layout. Then instead of the bars, you have a circle which goes around. That is extremely cool if you can do it with an inverted radial direction. And then on the inside, you can put the album cover for example. Oh, and uh, don't forget to click the hide graph when audio is silent option, because else you'll have a colored bar or circle on your screen, even when your music is muted or paused. The last plugin for today is the one that we've been waiting for, and for the right channel, this could be used permanently, or it works great as a channel redemption, and that is scale to sound. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It scales whatever source it's added to, to the amount of sound that is being played. I know. It really is that simple. Installing it works just like the last two. Go downstairs, click the link, download it, install it, follow the instructions. Then go into OBS, go to the source you want to add it to, add the filters and add an effect filter for the scale to sound. Change the minimum size to like 75%. I wouldn't go any lower than 70, 80 is probably better. And then just click close. Here you go, now it reacts to your microphone. I think this is pretty funny. I think you can do a lot with this. And I think it's going to be especially good if you do this to something like the Spectralizer, which could make it look incredible on your stream. One last thing you need to know is how smoothly it scales. So you can change the smoothness of the scaling. Currently it's on zero. 
But as I turn that all the way to one, you see that it scales very slowly or not at all, in fact. You want to put this a little bit up, but not too far. Something like 45, 46. I have it on right now, 45, but even down to 30 could work. Up to 60, depending on how erratic you want the movement to be. The rest I would absolutely keep as is, and then you just have to start using it. Honestly, I can see this as a little fun thing for many streams as either a command or channel redemption. So if you want to give this a try, definitely do it. It is good fun. And if you never use it, then you never use it. It doesn't harm anyone. These are my four suggestions for OBS plugins that can really help improve your audio or just add a little bit of fun to your stream. As we all know, audio is the most important factor for a stream to get viewers in. They can deal with bad video, they can't deal with bad audio. However, if you really want to grow your stream, you are going to need to make content on multiple different platforms, which is why you need to turn your OBS from a streaming software to a content creation studio. And here's a video where I show you exactly how to do that using other OBS plugins. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, please go downstairs, hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay up to date to everything that we do and leave a comment with how you are going to use these plugins. I would love to hear what you have planned. And as always, stream better, stream smart.